have some. Don't worry about it. I'll take care of some you. Just relax. Here, the rest. I'm wounded. Here, have some. Thank you. Does it look bad? Here you go. Lieutenant Hall, have some food. Miss Chu, I'm not hungry. Lieutenant, what are you thinking? Missed you. Do you think Northern Yan will accept the Shuli army? What's wrong? You don't believe me? Of course I do. If it weren't for you, the Shuli army might have been obliterated. But you don't have to comfort us with childish words like he didn't abandon us or that he sent you to rescue us. Although I'm a bit boorish, I can still tell what the truth is. Lieutenant, we all have things that we need to keep from others. At some point, we might do something unreasonable. The Shuli army betrayed Northern Yan. The people of Beishuo and Hongchen were massacred. That is a very grave sin. You'll never be able to wash away. You're misunderstood and suppressed. Because what you did in the past wasn't worthy of respect. But now it's different. You fought your way out of Chang'an and elsewhere, across the land. You won. Every time you fought, you're almost invincible. You sealed your devotion to Northern Yan with every battle you won. So, you should believe in yourself. That you have your own value. We've made up for our mistakes. I believe Yanshan will forgive you. Just trust me, and in any case, if Yanshin doesn't accept you, I will protect you. Only time will tell. I believe he will gradually accept you. Lieutenant Ha, you... Please, Miss Chu, I ask you. To be captain of the Shuli army, I beg you. What are you doing? Get up! Miss Chu, Chu, please, you, please we need you to be our captain! Please, 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 please Chu, be, be our captain! Be our captain, please! We know you're righteous and risked your life to rescue us. We're willing to follow you. Miss Chu, only with you, leading the Shuli army, will we feel confident to return to Northern Yan. Please don't refuse us. Please don't refuse us, Miss Chu. Please Chu, don't refuse us. Don't refuse us. Only hope. Miss Chu. I'm sorry. I cannot accept. Miss Chu. Why? Why? Miss Chu, please. Miss Chu. I cannot accept. Because in Northern Yan, there is only one leader. And you can only be loyal to him. He is Prince Yanshun. Troops ahead! Wu Danyu is fighting with them. How many are there? About... about ten people. Come, let's go see.
It's Jill! It's me! It's Song Chen! Oh. He's one of us. It's a mistake. Fine. Who done you? What's wrong over there? Why are you still fighting with His Highness's troops at this point? I'm sorry to you all. It was a mistake. Free him! How could I know they are with His Highness? They were alone and sneaky, and didn't wear the uniform. You can't blame me. But wait. Didn't His Highness already leave the place? Why are you back here? Miss Chu, we're on a mission. Right, you should head to Bia Plateau. His Highness is waiting for you, and hasn't left yet. What mission has you heading back to Chang'an? Um, uh, Miss Chu, the mission was ordered by His Highness. I'm not free to disclose it. Why is that? Northern Yen and Wei are at war. So tell me, why are you stealthily heading back to Chang'an? Speak! Are you a spy sent by Chang'an? Monsieur, we didn't do anything! We're not spies sent by Chang'an! His Highness ordered us to... to escort Yu and Song and Yu and Shun back to Chang'an! And songs here? Where? Hey, are you done? Come on, quickly! Just a second. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Take all of them out and behead them! Oh, please! Spare our lives! It was his highness order! Please spare us, please! Please let us live! Arm. His Highness did it. Liar! I'm not lying! It was done by His Highness. Yu Wan Song intended to kill His Highness, so His Highness cut off his arm. They wanted to kill him. His Highness said no and asked us to escort them back to Chang An. Why didn't His Highness kill him? He was afraid you'd be unhappy. Miss Chu, 
His Highness asked us to escort them back, which means he wanted us to kill them on the way! His Highness really said that? Yes. Rubbish. If you keep up the nonsense, trust me, I'll kill you. There's no need to speak. Go ahead and take them out. Kill all of them! Wait, monsieur! Monsieur! I wasn't lying! There's a feud between the Y and every one of us, without exception! All of our parents, brothers and children were killed by the Y three years ago! If His Highness didn't want to kill them, why did he choose me? Right! Please don't we didn't do anything wrong! We didn't do anything we wrong! We just enslaved the Princess of Wayne! Please, my parents, they were beaten to death! We didn't do anything wrong! Please don't kill us! What did we do wrong? Please, spare us! Let me tell you all what exactly you did wrong! The ones who killed your parents raped your sisters and made your lives miserable! Wasn't those people! They are the Emperor's children! Each debt has a debtor. You keep saying you're exacting revenge, but your actions are the same as your enemies! <sighs> Hasha, I want you to take them out and kill them all. Yes. Attention, shoot the army! Take the offenders out and execute them! Follow Miss Chu's order! Lead the Shuli army to meet with His Highness first. I can't go with you. Miss Chu, are you alright? Right now I have something important to do. Danger. Or you'll be in danger. I won't go, brother. I won't go anywhere. You fool. Don't go. I can protect you, aren't you? Don't 
I'll try to get up. I didn't take care of you, Jun. It's my fault. Brother, please, I'm all right. Really, I'm all right. I failed to take care of you. It's my fault. Brother, it's not your fault. It's not your fault. I don't blame you. This is my fault. I really should have listened to you, brother. I should have stayed at the palace. This is my own fault. Are you awake? We have to go. Brother is asking for you. You can leave. I don't want to see you. I need to take you back. We're still two days away. I can't let you leave by yourselves. Our lives have nothing to do with you. Because of war. There are refugees everywhere. With me. Your safety is guaranteed. I said that our lives have nothing to do with you. Yuan Song, I know that you hate me, and I know I can't make up for what I've done to you. But I can't just sit and watch you die. Achu. Do you know what it is I liked about you? It's the way that you are now. You're always so confident. Whatever your status or your position, you always believe in yourself. Now I find I hate the way you are. You are so conceited and so arrogant. What do you think you're doing? Charity? Redemption? Or something else just to go back to that animal and live in peace? You're wrong. You and Song. I said. I've already cut ties with you. And that the next time we meet, we would be enemies. You betrayed the country, killed our people, made them homeless. And I can never look past that. Get out. After I bring you back to Chang'an, I'll leave. Even if you hate me, you have to think about what's best for you. You have to think about the princess. You don't want something so horrible to happen to her again, do you? Shut up! I'm 
I can protect my own sister. Brother. Please just let Jordan! me do it. Do not insist. We are not so weak that we need to rely on our enemies to protect us. You had a fever last night, but you're better now. If by some chance you die, who will escort us to Chang'an? Just a pushover. Yuan Song. Thank you for saying goodbye to me. It was you who came along and protected us. I can't possibly be so mean and not say goodbye, right? But this is the last time. It is truly the last time. Next time we meet, we'd be strangers. your decision. Whoever betrayed we will have to die. What is the way? And what is the law? It's either you win or you lose. Your father cheated his friends. Massacred Northern Yen. Killed Yanshun's entire family. 
What do you think about that? These three years, you personally witnessed numerous assassinations and conspiracies. Your sister's marriage was just one of your father's plots to deceive the public. That day, if Yanshan didn't revolt, then today, I wouldn't be standing in front of you. You and Song, you like to deceive yourself. You lie to yourself, saying there's no tyranny. You lie to yourself, thinking the people have no complaints. Do you understand now? Do you now know why? A small-scale rebellion tore apart the great Wei Dynasty? Achu. I misjudged you. You didn't misjudge me. You just don't know the real me. All these years, I gave you some hints many times. However, you would ignore them, then face the truth. The entire way knew that the Emperor wouldn't let Yanshin go. Only you were so naive to believe that the Emperor would release him. I never intended to deceive you, but I did end up hurting you. I'll remember your love and your care over the many years. Yuan Song. How unfortunate we are to live in such times. Three years ago, Yanshin helped me in a helpless situation. When I decided to go to the execution square with him, I was destined to be your enemy. You're the Prince of Wei, and I am just a rebel. We were destined to be against each other. I only have myself to blame. Over the years, I never wanted to give up the chance to win you over. I always thought that one day I could have you if only I tried my best. It took great effort to fabricate lies. To deceive myself and run from the truth. The way will fall. Though I keep mentioning that Yanshun betrayed the country. What really hurt me... ...was that you gave me up without hesitation. Situation. He wouldn't have hurt you. If he wasn't badly injured, he wouldn't ask people to escort you. You hurt him. Very badly. Almost fatally. Am I right? Yes. He won't live long. Maybe if you go back now. 
can still catch his funeral. Thank you for telling me. 